How's it going everyone and welcome back to Dip Discovery and today we're having a look at this, the Xbox Go AI Cameraman Gimbal. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, now this AI Gimbal for your smartphone is available for both Android users and iPhone users, so both the apps are available on those devices. Now this is the front of the box here, you can see got a decent weight to it, tells you that it's available on the App Store at the back there, got the Xbox AI Cameraman Smart AI tracking on the front and here's some features that actually tell you, you know, quick things about it. So you got auto track and record games via the Xbox Go app. You got free live streaming as well directly to YouTube, uh, Facebook and more uh, different streaming apps. You've also got free cloud-based software storage on there as well, which is included, which is quite nice because not many uh, uh, other gimbals do that. There's no subscription or hidden fees with this gimbal. It's all native through the app and you know it supports all types of different um, uh, sports like basketball, football, all that kind of stuff is all uh, that's what it's designed for and there's free monthly app updates with this thing so it's really good to see that they are supporting the app and uh, improving on it with customer feedback. So let's open this thing up. So inside the box First get greeted with the instructions which are nicely printed on the envelope there and you've also got some more in-depth instruction guide there. Now it does recommend on this instruction guide that you should give the uh, gimbal a first full charge before you first use it. There's also a QR code there to download the app directly to your phone that you need to use all the AI features. There's some quick setup and instruction kind of stuff in there so definitely give that a read through before you get started. Now, inside the box, you've got three uh, compartments here. You've obviously got the gimbal itself. You've got a nice little stand here as well, which uh, allows you to uh, put the uh, gimbal free stand in on a level surface. And you've got a nice uh, kind of suede almost uh, carry case here, which allows you to carry the gimbal around and, you know, without it getting all scratched up. Underneath that as well, you've got a wrist strap, which is cool. Good to see that and you've also got a USB charging cable buried in there as well. And that's pretty much everything. So let's just get these things out. There we go. Put that to the side. Now let's have a quick look at the little stand you got here. So you've probably seen these things before if you're using other gimbals. So you've got this little stand here which just screws in the quarter inch screw at the bottom of the gimbal itself and it's just a nice little uh, thing that doesn't take up much space in the bag or in your pocket that you can uh, take around with you. Um, so you know some gimbals have it built in, uh, some, some don't. This one's obviously got it separate so you just screw it onto the gimbal like that and then once it's screwed on, you can just pull it, pull it out, put it on a level surface, which is great to have on like a table uh, or something like that. Anything flat surface that you can find and, you know, rest your gimbal on there. So that's pretty cool to see. I'll just leave that on there for now. Uh, let's have a look at the gimbal itself. So you, uh, you do get a few uh, buttons on here. So let's just open this thing up. It just kind of springs open once you open it up. Now, you have got a few buttons on it. So you've got the power button, which if you press and hold it for about uh, one second, two seconds, then it'll turn on. You've got a little joystick there as well that allows you to pan the gimbal left, right, up, down, all that kind of stuff when you've got your phone in there, you know, manually. And you've got an M button which sits through the different gimbal modes. And then on the slide, you've got a little, on the side, sorry, you've got a little slider um, that allows you to zoom in and out on the action on the actual camera uh, app itself. And then on the front there, you've got a little battery indicator LED telling you how much battery you've got left. Another thing on the side is got your USB charging port and then on the very back you've got a little trigger button which allows you to uh, uh, you know hit record or stop recording or capture a picture all through that nice handy uh, little trigger uh, button you've got there as well. So the clasp here that holds your phone is not removable. So you've got this little clamp and then it's got written on the clamp there what direction that the phone should uh, uh, camera lenses should be. A uh, little indication of your, for you there to make sure that you get it in the right direction because obviously it needs to know, uh, it needs to be in the correct direction for the correct usage of the AI features. 
Um, and it does recommend that you don't use a case on your phone uh, while using it in the clamp for two reasons is when it has a case it might be a bit too thick and it won't have a secure grip so your phone might fall out you know uh, and it won't be very secure so that's not a good idea and two it's also the weight because obviously a case adds additional weight to the phone and then the gimbal uh, may be overburdened with that extra weight and it won't be able to perform best to its ability so just remove the case when you're using it and then uh, it'll, you shouldn't have any problems there as well. Um, so let's just have a quick look at these accessories. So obviously, like I said here, you've got your wrist, rest, wrist strap, sorry. You've got your cable, you know, pretty standard stuff. And then you've got your little bag, which, you know, it's nice to see that it comes with all of that jazz. Now, there are plenty of gimbals for your smartphone on the market. And you're probably thinking, what makes the AI Xbox cameraman different well it, this is something that actually focuses with their software on uh, sports uh, so team based sports um, you know uh, racket sports anything like that that's what it's kind of designed for so the idea is the AI uh, software that it comes with actually is designed to capture sports in the best way capturing all the uh, footage of the ball and the action shots and zooming in and zooming out automatically so you can just set it up before you have your game and then forget about it it'll be doing all the footage for you panning around and you make sure that you got some good usable footage without someone standing by and moving your, your camera like this to, to follow that kind of footage so that's the whole idea of the AI Xbox uh, cameraman um, it, also, it has also got a single person tracking as well based on the software where you know you give it a hand gesture um, and then it'll start tracking you uh, you know like most of the gimbals do but the main thing about the, uh, the selling point is that sports tracking so you can capture a whole team it's not, it's not capturing just one person it'll keep the ball uh, or whatever is, is the actual uh, uh, sport that you're playing in focus and you know keep the action on that so let's just have a quick look at the app. Now, obviously you stand the QR code and it lets you download the Xbox Go app. As soon as you turn it on, the Bluetooth will engage and it'll try and look for that if you click add device. So you've got two options. You've got add device or add remote, which is something that you can buy separately, you know, but you can just uh, go ahead and click add device here. So I'm just gonna press the power button on there. Uh, I've already actually synced it. Now when you do do it, it does come up with a Bluetooth notification. So as you can see there, the Xbox CHW10 has been picked up and it's connected, which is good to see. Now, the idea is you, there is actually a tutorial video on there, which if you're just starting out, I recommend watching, um, but you can press the record button. Now you've got a few different options here, which is, uh, you know, football, basketball, American football, which you know probably be the same as rugby in the UK, ice hockey, and you've got a follow me, which is single version tracking mode. Yeah. Uh, so say if I'm gonna just, you know, what what I have noticed is the iOS version of the app seems to have a few more features than the Android version, which is very unfortunate because it's a bit limited on the Android version. There's not as much stuff you can do. Like there's a lot more sports available on the iOS version you know, like lacrosse or racket based sports, there's a lot more going on. So it seems like the Android app is a bit behind, but you know, hey ho, it is what it is. So you click on basketball, so you've only got football, follow me, uh, American football, ice hockey and basketball for now. And you've got select field size, which is pretty cool. So uh, what they recommend is when you're setting up the, uh, the gimbal, you wanna have it at a halfway point of the court and then that's when you hit record. It tells you how to do it all in that video. So get, definitely give that a watch. And then it says select age group. I'm guessing this is probably because of the height of the players maybe. Um, but anyway, if we just kind of go ahead with that, press start. Now you can see the different options we have here. So there is a scoreboard option, but to have that work, it actually overlays a scoreboard on your footage. But to have it work, you have to have an Xbox Go account. It's a free account, but uh, they just want you to register and then you'll be able to do it. Now here you can change the screen, the resolution of the recording. It seems a bit of a, a misstep, uh, I think, because you can only do 720p or 1080p, which is, uh, you know, pretty, uh, 
low res by today's 2024 standards unfortunately you can't do 4k and you can't do 1440p which is quite disappointing but you know 1080p is the way to go and then you've got different settings here so you can change the video duration the screen auto dims to save battery life uh, time stamp settings you know you can turn that on or off um, you can do auto zoom auto tracking your, your panning angle all that kind of stuff and you can save those settings so that's pretty cool you can also meet, mute and unmute the microphone and you can hide icons and show icons and you can also do turn live on which is uh, again uh, that's the live video streaming if you want to stream directly to youtube for example or facebook uh, live uh, broadcast you can do all that you just have to have the account set up and link it all through which i'm not really bothered about right now and once you've got all your settings right all you've got to do is hit record and then it should start looking for the the game and start recording it and tracking all the the footage for it now when you are actually mounting it in the thing uh, once you've unfolded it the gimbal should be turned off and then you put your phone in so the direction of the phone camera to the left you want to make sure that it's centered because you don't want it to uh, you know, be lopsided or anything. Uh, you wanna get that in there. What's also good is it's got a nice little cut out in the, um, the clamp here, so it doesn't keep pressing the power button on the side of your phone. So that's actually quite a good consideration that they've done there. Um, and then once that's in, you just press and hold the on button. And then as you can see, it's kind of uh, done it you know properly like that it's all kind of ready to go and if you want to like switch between landscape and portrait all you need to do is press tap the power button and it'll it's change between landscape and portrait as well so that's pretty cool and nice to see now you can also use this as a normal kind of stabilization gimbal uh, as well which you know you just kind of uh, walk around with it while using you can you can just use the normal uh, app uh, your native uh, camera app if you want for that and it'll still work obviously it's just gonna use its own motors to keep everything level um, so you can use it for that as well the difference is with that you won't have all the AI features that are built into the native app but you still can use all the shortcut buttons um, like panning and zoom in and out and you can still use the trigger button to pause play record take picture all that kind of stuff when you're using the native app so this is what it looks like when I've recording my basketball footage as you can see i'm here just playing by myself trying to shoot some hoops and the uh you know camera and gimbal is trying to keep the focus on me now i would recommend purchasing the separate uh, xbox go tripod the whole point of the tripod is is that it keeps you uh it allows you to you know elevate the height of the xbox go so pretty cool stuff as you can see it's cam it's capturing all my kind of footage with kind of minimal intervention it's more it's very much a set and forget kind of thing which i do kind of like to see because it just makes the whole thing easy for someone who's kind of by themselves or just wants something that's quick and easy to set up and it's unintrusive and make sure to get some good footage of you um, it can lose tracking if someone walks in front of the camera and calls some kind of obstacle like that because it's trying to figure out what's going on uh, but it can kind of re it has the ability to refocus and figure out what's going on and get back on the action so that's something to bear in mind as well but overall it does a pretty good job now as you can see on the table with its own kind of stand it is pretty low down so you won't have much leverage this thing works best when it's kind of like at the same kind of level as the players so xbox go do do a tripod as well which is actually nice because it comes with a nice little carry case which you can have it over your shoulder take it to the game with you it's quite low profile and it is very very well made it's got some serious weight to it while still remaining compact yeah so it does feel like good quality it's all kind of like a, a metal uh, construction it operates the same way as uh, the little free one does that comes with it you just screw it on top with a g1 quarter thread and the feet are actually removable uh, well not removable but extendable by unscrewing the uh, you know the tension is here and you just pull the uh, uh, the feet out like that it's got these little balls clips that keep it in place and you just push it back in like that so it's quite easy to uh, oh, there we go quite easy to uh, operate in and out dead quick you know it's not really 
much to it, but you kind of need this thing if you want to uh, have the gimbal at a usable height for, for sports games. So I recommend picking up this thing as well. So that's everything guys for the Xbox Go AI Cameraman Gimbal. Tell me what you think. If you've got any questions about this particular gimbal, then give us a shout. I think it's a really good piece for people that are really into their sports and really want to step up their sports recording game than just having it in one kind of fixed position where it's a bit more dynamic and reactive to what's going on in the pitch. So if you are into sports filming and you just want a simple solution to do that, um, then you know definitely have a look at this thing. The link's in the description. If you found the video useful, please drop us a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll catch you on the next one.